Hey everyone, Kyle once again, aka Jurassic Godzilla fan. Welcome back to another movie review. And the, I'm gonna, uh, the next um family film uh, we'll be reviewing is another family film that I've been, also enjoyed watching as a kid, and I still enjoy it to this day. Film made in 1992, and it's classic dog film, Beethoven. Beethoven, like I said, one of the one, another one of the classic family films from the 90s. Family films from the 90s. Um, this was made with release date, release date, May April 3rd, April 3rd, 1992. Um, it stars stars Charles Gro stars Charles Charles Grodin, you know from the who is the original um, Rosemary's uh, Rosemary's Baby and um, the 1970s uh, King Kong film. And also in all the among the other cast you have uh, Bonnie Hunt, um, you have uh, Oliver Platt, Stanley Tucci, um, and then you have also uh, other than the children you have uh, Christopher Castile who was the who was one well, of the stars the stars um the stars in the, the show Step by Step. Um, uh, Sarah Rose Carr, who was uh, as Emily, who was um, she was also the little girl in uh, Kindergarten Cop. Um and uh, Nicole Tom, I think she was starting on that was a series called uh, The Nanny. I think it was a show that appeared on the Naked Night show. I think it was called The Nanny. And you also have um. I think I, I I remember hardly seeing it though, but um, there's also this is also like the debut film for actor Joseph Joseph Joseph, Joseph Gordon Levitt, who just who appears as a student. If you're wondering what I'm eating, I'm eating gummy bears. So excuse me for for eating for eating some, for eating some for eating some gummy bears in this. And it's it's produced by Ivan Ray Ivan Redman, who's produced who's. Who's who's who, who directed the Ghostbuster films, Kindergarten Cop, and Twins? He he he's producing he produced them this film. It's directed by Brian Levent, who who directed the, the who directed the Flintstones movie. Who directed the foot the, the the Flintstones movie and the sequel, Beaver Rock Be Beaver Rock Be Vegas. He directed um, well, which Beaver Rock Vegas that was a which was which was a flop though compared to the first one that how much money that made for the for, for the Flintstones. He directed Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he uh, directed Snow Dogs with Cuba Gooding, Cuba Gooding Jr. And then yeah, he's had some mis he, so he had some mishaps like the sequel to um to the Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas and then directed then of course they directed The Spy Next Door with Jackie Chan. They they directed two uh, direct uh, video fil uh, movies, um, which was uh, Scooby uh, Scooby Doo: The Mystery Begins and Scooby Doo: Curse of the Lake Monster, which both films are are prequels before the the actual Scooby Doo movie. Um, and he also directed, and also another film, the first film he directed was Problem Child Two. So, but I but I but I always enjoyed Beethoven. And even watched it as a kid. I've always watched it. And it was a good family. Uh, Film, especially, but it's hard to especially um, about a dog, you know, Beethoven, who was his love, who was his lovable Saint Bernard. Um, the films open up. Well, it's also oh, one thing. It's also um, you know, there's also um, what well, I'm reading though, but um, it also says it's written by John Hughes, but it's under the suit uh under the, under the pseudonym. I guess uh, I guess under a different name, under name Edmund Dantes. I guess he had a different name in this. John Hughes, even it says it says written by John Hughes, but it says under the pseudonym Edmund Dantes. So, well, why we why we had to why we do why we, why we have it just take like a fake name instead of just written by John Hughes, you know. But anyway, um, so the film opens up. With Beethoven as 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 a as a pup, as a puppy in his pet shop, you know, looking out the win, looking out the window, you know, he's looking out the window, like like this one woman who wanted to buy him, but he, he peed peed on her, you know, 
Then later at night, um, two the two dog nappers, which is for uh, uh, Vernon, Vernon and Harvey, which are both played by Oliver Platt and Stanley Tucci, which I thought they were the, to the um, which I, which I thought as a kid, I still think today, I think they're both of the both of them were absolutely funny together in this movie, you know. Um, like when they, they when they break in, you know, um, like uh, like he uh, Stanley Tucci, like he shows like shows um. Harvey, Oliver, Oliver Platt, you know how to steal, how to break in, you know. He says, uh, Oliver Platt says, what about the what about um, surveillance cameras or surveillance cameras or the alarm? Then Stanley Tozzi shows him he uh, smoke, he's smoking, you know. He shows him blows smoke. He shows a red, an invisible red line. You now you step through it. It sets off the alarm. All you gotta do is step over it. And so they're take so they're taking puppies, you know, taking all the, do the little puppies in the store, and Oliver Platt accidentally sets off the alarm. He's like, he's like, I've stepped in the beam. <laughs> and I was, I was like, that's like how, how his face was like this before saying before he, before he saying that line, I've stepped in the beam. So they hurry on to the historian to get all the dogs in their van. We'll drive away. Um... I mean, he's like, he's, he's, like, he's, like, he's like all excited, like, he's like, oh, that that was really my first felony, you know? Um, then, then, then while in the, in the back of the van, there's, um, Beethoven, uh, sitting in a cage, but there's this other dog, um, why are they seeing how this, uh, didn't say, didn't say the name of the dog, it's like, um, I don't forget how I forget what what dog I forget what dog what forget what dog is called though. But this dog uh, gets out of his cage and it helps Beethoven out. They both escape and um and they so they stop the van and the the, the dog opens the back doors and they both and the both puppies jump out. Um, Beethoven hides in a trash can while uh, Stanley who's Stanley who's uh, chasing after the other. He's like, yeah, I'll give you a bone. I'll give you a bone. <laughs> those, those those like those cow. You know, you know, black and white spot spotted cow cowboy boots he has there. You know, um, he, but he didn't. But he, he, he but that gets all got away. He didn't see Beethoven hiding in a trash can. So, well, the next morning he uh, finds his way up to the house of the Newton family, which is the father played by Charles Gordon, Gordon, not Gordon Grogan. Um, they. He opens it, go enters the house, and all the kids. Oh, you know, it's like they th thinking that thinking their dad got themselves a puppy, but he, but he didn't know. It. He's like, like this, you know, like, oh no, you know. So the the, the, the night they put there, they're picking out, trying to pick out a name, to, to name him, and while uh, Emily's playing one of the keys on the piano, you know, one of the the da 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 the the one of the symphonies from Beethoven. And that's where they get. That's where they name him. You know, like Beethoven. And yeah, they got that song. That, that song, you know, "Roll Over Beethoven." You know, that was song. That was, that was a song that I also, I really always really enjoy that song. Roll over, roll over Beethoven. <laughs> Dig these rhythm and blues. <laughs> and it, 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 which throughout the when I when I playing that song, showing how, um, Beethoven's a gro grown up to be a big. Lovable dog, he's causing mischief, mischief throughout the, this short present time. You know, clawing at the door. You know, eating, um, eating the like the things the, the, that some Thanksgiving he's in the the turkey, or taking a lot a lot of dog food. Like the like one scene where the family's just, you know from the smallest to tall, from the smallest to tall, they're carrying each one bag of dog food, and he keeps on getting bigger. And Charles Grodin is carrying the biggest he can't even see. You know, um, then then, then when um. Got the song Charles Gordon. He's seen throughout all the house. His whole entire house was wrecked. He gets upstairs to the bedroom. He's all covered in filth, you know, mud, you know. And he's like, "You!" And then he gets up, so he starts starts to shake himself up. He's like, "No, no, 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 no!" You know, which really get that scene right there. You know, he's he's, he's getting all covered, he's like ah, you know, <laughs> and all the slobber and dirty, dirty, you know. Uh, um, so, so what, so when, um, um, when they're, ever, when the, when the kids are off to school and everyone's at, uh, is at work, you know, um, the parents are at work, Beethoven, you know, um, well, he's been, he's been in a, a cage, a cage outside in the backyard, but he has a way of, he has, he, he dug himself a hole, you know, getting himself under the cage, 
And he goes and he goes out and then, uh, looks around, well, has a, well, himself a walk around the town, you know, like like licking uh, water at, at, the, at the fire station, or viewing a peer from from a bakery, and this old woman sees him, you know, gives him a donut, you know, and he, which he which he um gives a donut to his um to the dog who helped him escape from the beginning of the film. Um. But then later the night, you know, um, he he gets put in his cage, but he gets back, but he escapes again. We get inside the house, um, while turns on the TV, starts watching the he watches like the Wolf Man, you know, and to hear and Charles Brown hears a noise. He turns the TV off, but he gets back into bed. I think it's his wife, though. But Beethoven's in the bed, and and you see his wife is standing on uh, outside the door. And he's like, George, who are you talking to? And he turn and he and he, tur and, he and he turns and his Beethoven's right in his face. And he's like. Ah! <laughs> How dare you? You think you were gonna get away with that? And he sees him, and he sees him. And he sees him go underneath, and he's like, "Oh, that's how you do it! I'm gonna put a stop to that. You ruined my life. You ruined my furniture. You ruined my clothes. You, my family likes you more than they like me. Why? All they do, all you do, is is drool and shed and eat, and you're never getting out of that. You're never getting out of." That up a uh, pen. Never. And do we understand each other? And then that's when the sprinklers come on. He's like, oh, you know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so this movie is it's full. It's, it's full of. Uh, it's, it's it's full. It's hard. It's a heartwarming story though. But it also has a. But it also has your laughs in it though. And that was and that was one of the good funny laughs when when he was in the, in the bed with with Charles Gordon. So the next um, his um dog friend he gets captured. And you, and well, by Stanley Tucci and Hart and, and Oliver Platt, but they're working for by this, this doctor who is a veterinarian, and he's um doing experiments on dogs, and and then um, he gets um tempted because um there's this this some um, this person who's um that he's working for, they want him to test him this new um ammunition, you know, this new uh, bullet, you know. It says that it explodes on impact. And he wants to test them, test these bullets on bigger dogs that have big skulls, like St. Bernard's or Great Danes and, and such. You know, he's like, no, big dogs are hard to come by. And he gives them envelope of, of a lot of cash. And he says, I'm sure we'll be able to manage it. So, and then when he, um, so Beethoven is taken to the vet to, to the to the to the to the bed, you know, and um, and it's funny, it's funny though, because um, he hasn't had his shots though, and he sees he sees one of the nurses with this big needle, and his his oh his eyes open wide open. He's like, Woo! he's like this, just like, Woo! and then and then all of a sudden he he faints, you know, because it was it was the stuff to that was going to knock him out, but he knocked himself out by fainting because he saw that big needle, like got scared of it, so he fainted. It's like, <laughs> um. And then. Um, and then, and then there was an incident where the the children are taken to this um the babysitter who's watching the two oldest, but they're not but not paying attention to Emily, the little one. She falls into the back of the swimming pool, and she's because uh, her ball dropped in and trying to get it, but she falls in. She's calling for help, but the woman doesn't hear her, doesn't doesn't hear the doesn't hear her screaming. But Beethoven, pardon me, um, um he Beethoven hears the screams and he. He jumps over. He jumps. I think he. I think less. I think he jumped over the fence, and he's running across the backyards and jumps in the pool and saves her. But he gets away before the, well, before they see before they see him, and the Bonnie Hunt, the mother, thinks the woman is it was it was very irresponsible. So, and then and then later on that evening, that um, Charles Gordon, he's he works for this um, oh, I forget what was um. Yeah, this is this company he works for that, um, oh, uh, well, I want to make sure to get this correctly, um, uh, to, uh, he wants to, he wanted to invest, um, he wanted to invest in it all, he wanted to invest his, his company to these two people, which is, and, sw and swindle him, and when, to this, uh, man and woman, which is actually the man is, uh, who was, wants to take, uh, Charles Gordon as, uh, Business, but it's actually David to David Duchovny. 
David Duchovny, the star of the X Files. You know, he's 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 in this as this as this business person with his um, wife partner, I think, um, who wants to take wants to take um, sign, get him to sign this contract and take uh, Charles Gordon's business. But um, and 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 they're they're being mean to the kids, you know, and they're being mean to her, you know, like like so like attempted like when um. Bonnie Hans wants doesn't want Charles Gordon to sign this. They'll like try to stop her, try to interfere with her, you know, saying, "Oh, um, like break per like per on purpose breaking a glass to get her, you know, breaking a glass, like you know, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do it, you know." And that was and it was funny that like oh, when she was pouring him a, when she was pouring like pouring like another lemonade, she goes and takes a drink and spits back in because you know she doesn't like him either. And uh, Beethoven, he isn't he doesn't like these people, uh, he doesn't like these people either, so. He goes and walks around, ties the a lo the long leash around the table, around their chairs, you know, and um, and gets into David David the company's face, and he throws a ball, you know, throws a ball to get here, mutt, and he's like, I pitched in college, and he's, he's running, takes it, uh, snags all the chairs on the table, and they both go, you know, they get go dragged along with Beethoven, you know, d over the fence, you know, and 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 Charles Gordon and uh, George Newton, um. Charles Grow and George, he says, he says, tells about bad dog, and he's like, gets all hard, and he starts running away, and he's like, oh no, and, and David Duchovny and the woman are both looking at like, knowing that they're gonna get, they're gonna, they're in for another ride, like they're like, oh, <laughs> and just just run along, they try drag them on top of the, the the entire saw, like a Bonnie Hunt is like waving goodbye at them, you know. <laughs> um. And you know George, George is the only one he really hates. He really hates Beethoven, you know. Because you know the whole time he's been thinking about himself, and not his family and his wife, you know, and kids. Hasn't been thinking about them. He's been thinking about his himself, you know, about his job, you know. He's like, my dreams going down the drain. You're worried about a dog, and Bonnie Hunt tells him, you know, your family's going down the drain, and you're worried about a dream. So, so then, um, the, the, the vet, um, veterinarian, um, Dr. Vernick, Dr. Vernick played, was it, um, by Dean Jones, he arrives at their house, you know, to, um, see Beethoven, you know, wants to, you know, to talk to, to talk to Beethoven, you know, see it, just does something, you know, but when everybody's inside, he's looking, you know, because <clears throat> he wants to, Get them to get rid of Beethoven so you can use that experiment on on him. So he puts some tears like his tears like tears his sleeve up, puts some fake fake blood on him. And while he's doing this, Emily's watching from outside the window, seeing this and putting the fake blood on his arm and think and then getting to Beethoven to attack him. And he does. And while he's doing, he scre he's he's screaming for help. And he's like even when he's doing this, he's like smiling at him. He's like, oh, that's a good boy, you know. <laughs> So, and he tells him, he tells him, you know, the fake lie, you know, like, oh, he's like, he just lunged at me, you know, he's like, oh, he's, he, you know, I need to see a doctor, you know, he's, he's vicious, you know, he's dangerous, but, um, Emily is saying that I saw the whole thing, but they don't believe her, of course, you no, know, adults don't believe in children, you know, the typ typical thing in a lot of movies, you know, when children are telling the truth, adults don't believe them, you know, so... So then, so Charles, then, then uh, um, um, George, he t he t he takes Beethoven away, and they see him taken away. They're running after him, and later when he gets back, you know, they they just they just ignore him. Emily's saying dog killer. So then later in the night, he he feels now he feels real bad about him, you know. So he decides to go go back and get him. They all and they all want to go and they all want to go back and get him. Um. As the, and as they're um, going back, you know, the uh, Dr. Vernick, you know, he's putting all his money in his vault. Um, tell him the dog's been destroyed. But they bar but they barge in, they see his see his arm is better, you know, he's like, What the hell are you trying to pull? you know. Um, they see he's gone and he's like and he's like you know, he um George is about to, about to hit him, he's like, You hit me uh, you hit me I'll be put in jail for assault and battery. But then he sort of, sort of turns away, but then, but also gives us a punch, and and the, the kid's like, "Whoa, Dad!" You know, <laughs> and he's like, "But he tries to call the police, but they don't believe him because he's like, you know, what's because he's like, what do you mean, so what? You know." So they see him leaving, and they follow him by turning off the lights. You know, like 
wait, wait, let's follow him, you know? And wait, follow him, wait till I shut the door, and he's like, shut it, you know? So they follow him. Bashes his, bashes his way through out of the cage, and he chases after. Then he chases after um, Stanley Tuesday and Oliver Platt. <laughs> they both way, like, you know, bad doggy, bad doggy, and um, it was funny, like you know, I was like, just like they both stand by the cards, like ah, you know, getting some some <laughs> tools, you know, but it doesn't do any good, you know. He keeps um, follow Platt falls down. He's like, oh no, 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 you know, and uh, Stanley Tuesday tries to climb the letter, but uh, but Beethoven bites his foot, you know, and. And George, he goes on top of the roof, through the glass, on top of the roof, seeing that I'm restraining Beethoven. So the doctor, he's about to shoot Beethoven with this new ammunition. George uh, falls, to, uh, falls to the roof and lands on top of them. Um, then the small, the small dog goes and bites the doctor right in the in the, in the crawling area, you know. <laughs> he's like, oh, ah, you know. And, um... And um, uh, uh, Ted, he Ted, he gets um, uh, uh, Chris Christopher uh, Custall. Um, he gets he gets in the driver's seat and he starts driving. And I was like, you don't have a driver's license. And he's like, we're going in. And he starts driving the car right, bashes right through the doors, and it hits it hits a small table with a bunch of needles, you know, like big and small needles, and it flies and it hits the doctor right all in his chest. He's like, oh, you know. So so the. So they, um, so they, they release all the dogs, and all the dogs, they, they did start chasing after, uh, Oliver Plant's Telly Tusi, you know, they, so they start chasing after him through this, um, uh, uh, lowly dock of a marketplace, and, and they chase, and they climb over a fence into the junkyard, and like, and they're like, ah, stupid doggies, stupid, stupid doggies, but, um, but, but they, but they noticed there was, like, like, about, there was like a uh, uh, three or four Dobermans, you know, junkyard dogs. <laughs> they, they they said they was like, oh, you know, they like oh, hold their holding holding their hands, and they both of them they get it, and they attack them, and then it cut and it cuts to like um a few day a few uh, a few days, you know, the doctor and the and the two guys have been arrested, you know. And they said so they came out, they came from court. These guys have been felt doctors have been felt. Darkness been found guilty, and you see Tis Stanley Tucci and Oliver Platt, they're all, all having a neck braces and all bandaged up and cast, you know, because from the attack of, from the, when they got attacked by the Dobermans, you know. <laughs> so, and, and then, and the families, and the families are out there on the news too, you know, as, like as dog lovers, you know. Um, and then you get, and then you get this little small, little, little small side plot with, um, uh, Rice, um, Nicole, Nicole Tom, you know, Gets a call from the boy that um, because earlier in the film when uh Bo Beethoven was uh visiting her at school, try to get tries to get that boy that she likes to talk to to talk to him, you know, ask him out on a date, you know. So you get the little, so you get, so you get that, so he gets she gets that call, asks that the the boy asks her on a date, you know. And then the movie ends with um Bonnie Hans and Charles Groen, there's uh, in bed, all the dogs, all the kidnapped dogs are all in their bed with Beethoven and his dog friend, you know, naming all the dogs like good night. Like a night of uh, this dot name and night the other night. Like no, so that ends with them just naming all the dogs that they all rescued. You know, it's on the, that's in their bedroom. You know, all sleeping. <laughs> and Be so Beethoven, yes, I've always I've always enjoyed Beethoven. I would put this um, on my top list of my um, family family uh, films. Uh, I've seen it, especially I love watching it as a kid. It's like to like like um, Homer Bound. You know, dog films. You know, family dog films. Well, there's not much family dog films though, but but I'll put this on the top, on the top some top some list of uh, uh, favorite family films. Um, the film went into the, so the film the film was a box office success. You know, 18 million dollar budget, total worldwide, it made over uh, 147 million. So it was a big it was a big hit. But even though the reception it got, yeah, it was like like um, m more, mostly negatives, negative reception. You know, as like a 31% Rotten Tomatoes is a 5.49 dB. 
It's sad, you know, because this is a, this is one of the most one one of the classic um, family films. You know, it deserves high, it deserves higher than that. You know, it doesn't deserve it doesn't deserve such low ratings. You know, but despite even though um when this film even though when this film was success it success the it, it the film was very successful. It spawned six sequels. It spawned six sequels in a short um animated TV series. Um, which um, which the next review I'll be glad to talk about is my um, absolute favorite sequel and the, without doubt the best sequel in the series, which I'll talk about, which I which I absolutely really do love. I love the sequel, Beethoven Second. Um, which I which I'll get to the which I'll get to the next review. I really do enjoy the sequel. Um, so yeah, and it's but and so another sequel those was. The sequels after after um, Beethoven's second, the sequels I really was not that interested in the sequels like n like Beethoven's third, like it stars star, stars a judge Ren stars Judge Rental who plays um who plays the brother to um to uh to Charles Gordon uh, to George uh, George Newton Charles Gro Charles Gordon's character he play George Rental plays the brother to him you know. Which uh, with the so Beethoven was with the with his brother's fam um George's George's um brother's family on RV trip to across across the country to visit on the way to a family reunion. Uh, I I just never I was I was never a big fan of the sequels you know like the, the bad guys were even the bad guys number three were very lame you know especially the like, the idiot guy who was always who was obsessed with drinking coffee you know. And then number four, which stars the same, fa uh, reprises the role of Judge Reynolds in his family, you know. And this, in that that time, um, the villains is this butler of this of this rich family who owns another um, Saint Bernard. But then the rich dog and Beethoven get they get switched, you know. Well, um, well, Beethoven, you no know, one who's the smart, the rich dog, you know, who knows is very well trained, wiping his feet, picking up the napkin, you know, know all the knows all the commands, you know. Uh, then, then um, the fifth, and then Beethoven's fifth, which I, which I thought was a, was a decent, which I thought was a decent sequel, Beethoven's fifth. I think it was better than three and four, which was um, Beethoven's uh, fifth. The stars, <clears throat> which actually Beethoven's fifth, Beethoven's fifth, which actually stars uh, Dave Thomas, Dave Thomas, who worked with Ruth Moranis and Strange Brew, you know, and and also working with him again, the voice of um, Brother Bear one and two. And I like Dave Thomas. Okay, yeah, that was that was one of the good points in Beethoven's Fifth. I like Dave Thomas, but he was one of the good points in it, and some other cameo appearances from other actors like Clint Howard and uh, Rick Dean, star of the Carnosaur Two and Three. You know, um, then also stars a Faith Ford, who also was starring with Vin Diesel in The Pacifier. Um, and it, that was more of a, a, a treasure a treasure hunt film where they're searching for this old mine that was about from these old um, robbers, you know, from the old days. Oh man, I, I thought that was I thought that was a decent I thought it was pretty a uh, decent sequel, you know. Especially Dave Thomas was the best part of the entire film because I like Dave Thomas. Um, then I thought so. I thought Beethoven's Fifth was the, was a decent out of of uh, Beethoven's uh, Third. I thought it was, I thought it was better than Beethoven's Third and Fourth and. There was a, I, think, I haven't I haven't seen Beethoven's Big Break that was the six, that's the sixth film but I haven't seen that but I think that Beethoven's Fifth is better than than three four and six. So then uh, that's that also um, in nineteen um, and, I, and, and then in nineteen ninety three that that came nineteen three came the animated series which I think didn't last which I didn't which I think that didn't last that long. Dean Jones who played the villain in the first film of the the veterinarian doctor he plays the voice of George Newton. And uh, Nicole Tom, who played Rice, she she still play, uh, plays she still plays the same character, but does the voice of the character that she played in the in the, in the two films. So yeah, the film, despite the negative reception, the film uh, the film was a box of, was a big was a big hit. So it spawned six sequels and uh, a short animated TV show of of it. So, so yeah, I always enjoyed Beethoven. You know, I've always I've said I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I still, I still enjoyed, I still enjoyed it to this day. I think it was one of the classic family films from the '90s, and I always enjoyed, it, and I've always enjoyed it. So, especially, especially if, uh, with a love films, which are films that's about dogs, you know, dogs, you no know, lovable dogs. You know, Beethoven, the Saint Bernard, he was, he was a very lovable dog, you know. So yeah, this, so that's Beethoven. So, that, so that's uh, Beethoven. 
uh, which I thought with um, the actors did did a great job. Charles Gordon, Bonnie Hunt, Oliver Platt, Stanley Tucci. They all and the and the in the in the kids. They all like, did uh, they all did a, they all did a good job. You know, they they all they all did, did good in the acting. Very very well written, uh, uh, written. If it's by John, if it's by you know, John, who is under that fake name, which I don't know why. Ivan Reitman, pro executive producer, he he was good with it, and uh, Brian Levitt, he did he did a good job. I think um, I was I always think this has always always been his best film, you know. This next to the the Flint's the Flint's the the Flintstones uh, film, you know, the first one, and. So, and so yeah, so that's a uh, Beethoven, a good, a great, great family classic family film. Then uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the, for the sequel, which I'll which I'll which I'll love talking about, Beethoven Second. So stay tuned and stay so stay tuned for so stay tuned for Beethoven Second later.